new structures and uh, b b give people a democratic future in that region. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mrs. Gomes, one and a half minutes. Lady Ashton, as we point out in this report, consistency and coherence of CFSP require political leadership and coordination, ensuring that the European policies such as trade and development are in line with CFSP principles, values and strategic interests. Ethiopia, an ACP partner, a major recipient of EU aid, the second most populous country in Africa, at quarters of the African Union, is without a government since dictator Melisenawa died in July, much earlier than his uh, uh, um, totalitarian clique announced it to the people of Ethiopia in order to engineer in secret the perpetuation of their oppressive regime. Fortunately, yesterday, two Swedish journalists imprisoned by Melos were finally released. But we did not hear the EU pressing for their release, and we did not hear that pressing for, all the other, for the release of all the other thousands of Ethiopian political prisoners, including the Penn Prize awarded Eskinder Nega. What can you tell us about your endeavors in that sense? Why is the EU so silent, or at least so discreet, in urging the liberation of Ethiopians? And can you tell us what is the EU doing to press now for an inclusive political dialogue involving all opposition parties, namely the armed ones, so that Ethiopia may remain unified and not fall into violence, so that Ethiopia may now find the genuine road for democracy to which this, their people uh, aspire to, and not go on oppressed by these totalitarian forces. Ethiopia is too important for Africa and for the world for us to continue to turn a blind eye to what is going on there. Madame Gomez, Mrs. Gomez. We have a blue card from Louis Michel. Will you accept it? Mr. Michel. Mr. Michel, go ahead. Well, it's not really a question. I just want to say that Lady Ashton and Lady Ashton's services have been...